What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I am going to attempt to start building a backyard terrain park. There's the show. Um, now, technically it's not going to be the backyard, but that's alright. Um, it's just going to be a little difficult because where I want to do it is a little bit flat. But I think I've got a good enough setup where I can build a drop in. So it should have enough speed for right here. You can't really see it, but this is like a little um, slope. Otherwise I might go do it over on that side of the house because it's a steeper hill, but I won't be able to build a drop in that's as good. So we shall see. Yeah, guys, it's like two degrees out here and it feels like minus 15, so uh, we'll see how long the camera lasts. But hopefully we can do some of this. Should be pretty cool. Uh, I don't know how this thing is still going. This is freezing. But, uh, all right. So, I've gotten done so far, so I've got this table. So he uses the drop-in. Door I have already stood on if it's sturdy enough. And then, I put these two wood planks down. Um, the reason I did that, I didn't want to shovel that much snow into there. I figured the wood planks would just allow me to like kind of skip ahead a little bit and that way I can just put snow onto the planks. So we'll see how that works. It might not work great so I might have to actually go back and shovel everything but we'll sit for a little bit and we'll see where we're standing after that and then I'll start building some features. So let's go. Alright so I'll do a quick walkthrough before the feature of uh, what I think. A good setup will be. Um, so we got a drop in here, a drop in, and we've got all this space here. So I'm thinking we could kind of split it into two lines. We could go a uh, rail right there and then down this way. So I kind of walk it so it's easy to see. It's like a rail around here. That way you just got a nice straight setup for it. And then down from here, we can do maybe like a kind of quarter pipe or wall slash thing. Like almost like you'd see at a skate park with like a rail on top. Um, and then that's the driveway is right here, so it'd be. It'd be perfect because you could go up, ride it. You could hit. It, you could go backwards. You could keep going down the hill. Um, and usually, what I do is I have it go down that way because there's a little space past the trees. Um, I hope you guys can hear me. Got my AirPod in. I just realized it's rubbing. But all right, so that's the basic plan. I think. If you guys have any better ideas, you can just let me know down below and. Uh, uh, thanks for watching. Let's finish this drop in. All right, guys, I apologize if the camera dies. <clears throat> it is what it is. It is cold, that's what it is.
Okay, here comes the moment of truth, guys. I'm gonna test it. Have to do a bit more film on. I don't think it's gonna work great as of right now, but we'll see. Okay, so camera died. Literally like two seconds before I went down. Um, but I did it. I got to right here, all the way up there. So it worked. The wooden boards held up. They just kind of slipped off the table. So I had to put some support behind it. So uh -oh, the camera was charging. This is what I did here. <clears throat> I turned the table on its side so that I created like a container to put the snow in. So I just dumped snow in here. You still see the wood boards right there. So now the wood boards have support behind them so they're not gonna like slip out or fall. And then I'm gonna head to work and once I get back in a couple hours, I will, hopefully this will have frozen. Maybe I'll pour some water on it or just like around the edges. And uh, I'll take the table and I'll flip it upright again. And that way it'll be standing upright. It'll be a good, nice, hopefully a nice transition to uh, go down. Cause it worked really well. As you can see, I got all the way down there. So we've got plenty of speed for a feature there and plenty of speed for a feature there. And then we'll probably put a feature at the bottom of the hill as well. So, all right, I'll see you in a couple hours. One eternity later. All right guys, hopefully you can see me okay. It's like really dark now. But, so I finished the jump, or, uh, or not jump, drop in. Didn't finish it, but um, let it freeze while I was at work. And it froze really nicely. This thing is like, Packed in really well. I mean, well not that here, but I didn't pack that. Just, 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 like we're packed in nice and nice and hard. Um, now I'm start. I'm starting to hope I can actually get the table out. Um, <laughs> um, yeah, that might be a problem. Well, to be honest, we might just leave the table there, and that'll just keep it packed in, and then. It gives this this little groove for us to strap in on. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and test it first, and then I'll do a then I'll shape it and crap, and we'll do the cool stuff. Oh, Okay, hopefully you can see me too. So, yes, I accidentally went down this side and then I didn't strap in the fully on this one, but it works. Gave me plenty of speed. I got all the way, I could have gone all the way down. So that'll be a perfect amount of speed um, for what we're trying to do here, which is perfect. The only thing I want to do is add snow on this side because when I was trying to strap in, I would kind of slide this way. Um, so I just gotta level it out and that'll be cool. Or we could put something there. Or who knows, maybe we could continue it down into the backyard and then it'd be an actual backyard park. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed watching. Stay tuned for episode two where we actually build the features. And we'll see you in the next video. See ya.